Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my lead code videos. In this one, we'll do lead code 1071, today's daily challenge, greatest common divisor of strings. So we're basically given two strings and where you have to find the like greatest common substring that like equally divides each of the strings, right? So if ABC, we have ABC here and this one is ABC repeated twice, right? So this is the largest string that you know, exactly divides each of these strings. In this example, like AB, we have AB, 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 and this one has just two ABs, so it's AB. And in this one, there's no common strings that like, you know, when repeated equally divides these two, so the output is just an empty string. So what will be the approach to solve this problem? If we have one of them, which is a bigger string, and one of them, which is the smaller string, right? If the bigger string starts with the smaller string, only then there is a chance, right? So because let's say this is some number n times the common string, right? And this is some number like, you know, m times the common string, right? Because it, the common string has to equally divide them, right? And since this is bigger, we know that m is greater than or equal to n. So then if then th that means the smaller string necessarily has to be a substring, right? Because you can think of it as n, n times the common string plus m minus n times the common string, right? That's how we can express this bigger string. And so, you know, n times the common string has to be the smaller string. So basically, if, if the bigger string does not start with the smaller string, we already know that it's not possible to have a common string and we'll return false, right? And if it does start with um, that common string, then what we'll do is say, okay, we know that this is common. So then we'll, you know, take the remainder of the string and try that with the smaller string, right? And that then again runs through the same algorithm. So in case, let's say you, we had an example where we had this one, and then AB, you know, so we'll see that the bigger string starts with AB, and then we'll continue with like this one, the remainder and AB. And then we'll see, okay, they start with each other, so then we'll continue with this one and AB. And finally, when they're equal, we know that this, when they're equal, we know that that is the, now the, the common, you know, the greatest common divisor, right? Because now, when m is equal to n, then that's the common string. And so let's take a counter example. Let's say we had like, you know, hello and hi, or like hi, hi, hello and hi, right? So in the first time we'll see, okay, they are equal, right? Hi and hi is equal. But then in the second time we see hello and hi, there's no, you know, it, the bigger one doesn't start with the smaller one, so we'll just return false. Right, so basically that will be our algorithm. So let's go ahead and write the code. So basically first we need to find which is smaller and which is bigger, right? So I'll just say string bigger equals, so we're just comparing the lengths and if str1 is greater, that's the bigger one, otherwise it's str2. And then let's get the smaller string too. So that's just going to be the opposite of this one where you know we have the same condition, but we flip str1 and str2. So now that we have bigger and smaller, what we'll do is if bigger and smaller are equal, right? That means we've reached our base case and then we'll just return um, any of them, right? So that means we've reached the case where they're both equal. Otherwise, if, if bigger does not start with uh, smaller, that means, you know, this invariant doesn't hold. then what we'll do is we'll just return an empty string because there's no overlap. Otherwise, we'll again recurse on this function with uh, bigger.substring smaller.length because this will basically take the remaining of the bigger string and compare that with the smaller string, right? So to see, okay, now among what's remaining, what's the greatest common um, the GCD, right? So let's try to run it and see how that works. 
All right, accepted. Let's submit. Cool, accepted, 100%. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.